Hey guys, so this is a follow-up to my most previous video on her getting her first professional blowout and cut. So this is day one and the night before I did wrap up her hair. I used some coconut oil and I sealed it with the everything butter. I detangled it a little bit and the reason why I used coconut oil the night before is because it was very lightweight and I didn't want to lay I didn't want to weigh down her blowout. So as you can see, um, the flat twist did give it a little fluffy, little curl to it. And it still has a lot of bounce, it has a lot of fullness, and it did give it some more shine. So she says she wanted half up and half down, like the day before. This one is a little bit different because when we came from the hair salon, she did have bone straight hair well not bone straight but it was blow dried and this is the same style but it does have a curl to it so she was so excited and she really loved this style so here is the next day and it also happens to be valentine's day so we had on our matching outfits and i did twist her hair the same exact way that i twisted it out the night before And it actually happened to be a little, a lot of moisture in the air this day. Um, so you'll see on the following day that her hair did get really, really frizzy. Um, but for this, we just did two big ponytails in the front and I left the back out. And in order for me to get her hair to be a little bit more full and to get rid of that line in the back, I just went ahead and used my hands to pick out her hair. So here is day three, like I said. Um, it was a little bit frizzy um, from the moisture in the air, but her, her scarf <laughs> left a line in it and we were both joking about it. We thought it was so funny. <laughs> So the night before, I followed the same routine of adding the coconut oil and the butter, but instead, um, she said she wanted a Pocahontas hairstyle the night before, so um, we went ahead and did a braid in the front. We did a cornrow in the front, and so this morning, um, I was just trying to figure out what she meant when she said the Pocahontas hairstyle, because she did say she wanted a braid. Um, so the first time I went ahead and put it in a ponytail. So when it comes to her hair, I really try to make sure like she's in charge of it. I don't tell her she has to wear the hairstyle that I choose for her. Um, usually I suggest hairstyles and she suggests other hairstyles and we kind of compromise in between. So here is what we came up the first time. She wasn't happy about having that braid inside the ponytail so we went ahead and we just um added the um barrette to the bottom and the line eventually went away by the time she went to daycare so i'm just trying to figure out whether or not she's feeling this hairstyle um but she did end up liking it so we kept it so this is the next day and I braided her hair in four sections because it was starting to get really frizzy and it was drying out some. So what I did was braided it in four sections the night before and I wanted to keep the protective hairstyle in her hair. So I just let her pick out a headband and we added the headband to her hair. Okay, so here we are an hour before I actually styled her hair. Her hair was really dry and I hadn't added any water products. So her hair needed a lot of moisture. So I'm just adding a Taylor Beauty Moisturizing Mist an hour before styling her hair. The reason why I did that is because I didn't want it to frizz up. So here we are coming back later. Her hair does have a lot of um, moisture in it now. And the reason why I like moisture is because if it doesn't have moisture, it will break off. Um, so I'm just unraveling her protective hairstyle that we left in for two days and this day she decided she wanted a side ponytail so here she is with her side ponytail so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did thumbs up and thanks for watching bye